Dwayne, you are? Well, I'm Dwayne Johnson. But some people call me The Rock. <laughs> WWE and Disney are two giants in the entertainment industry. Both companies have been around for decades and both are enjoyed by kids. That makes WWE wrestlers a perfect fit for appearing in Disney shows, like when John Cena showed up on Hannah Montana. In the season 4 episode, Love That Let's Go, the character Jackson tries to impress his girlfriend by reading the book To Kill a Mockingbird. However, he finds it difficult to focus and instead prefers to read his wrestling magazine. Jackson falls asleep and when he wakes up, John Cena starts talking to him from inside the magazine. Then the real John Cena appears in Jackson's living room. The WWE star demands that Jackson read his book and decides to slam him onto the couch and put him in a submission hold. Cena takes Jackson for an airplane spin on his shoulders, which he transitions into an AA. The 16 time world champion then ends with his signature You Can't See Me and the five knuckle shuffle, which snaps Jackson back to reality. In another Disney sitcom, Pair of Kings, the episode Fight School begins with the main characters, Boomer and Brady, watching what they say is wrestling, but looks more like Raw Underground to me. The two then decide to join Fight School so they can become brave and powerful warriors like their father. Boomer and Brady end up getting tricked into thinking they are great fighters, which frustrates their friend, Michaela, who actually is a great fighter. She gets so fed up that she decides to give the two guys a real challenge, and who better than one of the tallest wrestlers in WWE history, the Great Khali. Kali plays a giant called Atog who lives in a cave. Boomer and Brady challenge the great Kali to a battle at the Coliseum, and Kali borrows Goldberg's catchphrase. You're next. Big deal! The day of the fight comes, and Kali walks out similar to how he did in WWE. Also, like a lot of his matches in WWE, the great Kali defeats both Boomer and Brady in just a few seconds. The boys try again, but this time with luchador masks on. They still have some difficulties, but are eventually able to take down the Great Kali with double kicks. <laughs> Kali wasn't the only WWE World Champion to appear on Pair of Kings. In Season 3, The Miz guest stars as the character Damone. When he first appears, he's extremely short and ends up getting thrown out of Boomer and Boz's club. The A-lister returns later and uses his powers to become bigger. As we find out, the Miz's character is actually an ancient sea creature that can suck people's confidence to grow more powerful. The next victim of sea creature Miz is Boomer and Boz's guard, Mason. And I'm awesome! Like a true WWE star, Miz uses his new strength to pick up Mason and throw him through a table. The group goes to find the chick magnet in his gang, with Michaela leading the charge. Thanks to a distraction, the Miz is able to drain Michaela of her confidence too. Miz's rampage continues as he takes out everyone who tries to fight him. He even uses some actual wrestling moves too. The two canes confront the Miz and figure out that his weakness is smack talk. With that knowledge, Boomer and Boz begin making jokes at the expense of the WWE star. Miz eventually becomes so weak that he reverts to being a sea sponge and almost immediately gets eaten by a dog. With The Rock being a major actor, it's not surprising that he's appeared in a number of Disney shows. One of the first was Wizards of Waverly Place. In the season 2 episode, Art Teacher, the character Max pretends he has a fake disease called monoaragnosis. He gets visited by a couple of celebrities, one of which is The Rock. Dwayne Johnson first appears in the episode looking for Max and ends up bumping into Max's sister, Alex. She doesn't recognize him, so The Rock explains who he is. Uh, acting is my first and only job. I think you're forgetting one other very important job there, Rocky. The Great One eventually meets up with Max, and Max's mom even tries to get a piece of the Brahma Bowl. The Rock is soon told that Max is faking his illness, and he storms out of the room. In Hannah Montana, The Rock once again plays himself. In the episode, The Great One makes a stop in town to promote his new movie. After Miley accidentally gives away a photo that reveals her secret identity as Hannah Montana, she agrees to get an embarrassing photo of The Rock to get back her photo. It sounds more complicated than it actually is. Anyways, Miley and her friend Lily disguise themselves as hotel staff to get into The Rock's room. They convince the people's champion to allow them to give him a pedicure, leading to this unfortunate image. The Rock continues to make some amazing faces as the girls prepare to take a photo. 
As they run away, Miley has a change of heart and decides not to share the picture. She makes up with The Rock, and the Brahma Bull ends up helping her out by forcing the paparazzi guy to give back the photo. The Rock and other WWE stars have also appeared in the Fast and Furious franchise. Find out more by watching the video on the left. Cordell Davis had a great idea for the next Fast and Furious movie. Hey, you got my seal of approval. Until next time, I'm Zach from Tap Out Corner, and take it easy.